there's this thing that you say in the book that you say you will not sleep with a woman. I mean, this is this is just fucking amazing. Uh, you will not sleep with a woman until you make a million dollars. And <clears throat> uh, this thing that rules the planet, Facebook, for some people, I don't do Facebook, but this guy created this to get girls. And you put like a, a filter on your life that would stop you from having sex until you made a million dollars. Had How did you come up with that? I do weird shit like that too. Like, uh, like I would, like when I was a young man, I'd be at the gym and I'd be like, I'd be on the treadmill and like, I'd look across and there'd be some hot chick who I had no chance of getting. But I'd be like, if I can finish this mile in the next thirty seconds, that chick will go out with me. And I'd finish the next thirty seconds and she'd never go out with me. But I always set goals like that. You know what I mean? <laughs> How did you come yeah. up with that? And, and where, did you think at some point after twelve months, oh fuck, what have I done? I'm gonna die. Of, I'm gonna die never having oh, sex again. Well, I thought it was gonna. I, I thought it was gonna fall off. That was my biggest concern. But uh, no. So so I I uh, I had a guy that told me he did that, and it took him three years oh. because of this concept called sex transmutation, written by a guy named Thinking Grow Rich Napoleon Hill. Uh, that the same desire you have when you're in the heat of the moment that you're willing to tell the girl anything to get what you want. Oh, baby, I love you. Yeah. I love you. You're the most beautiful girl. You'll say anything dumb to get what you want. If you apply that energy towards business, you'll win. But also the other thing for me is for some people, it's not sex. Like tell that to a 20 year old virgin It's like, shit, I've been waiting 20 years to have sex. It's like, I have <laughs> right. 10 more years, you know, right. but, but, but it's, it's whatever you're addicted to. That's what that is. It's video games for some. It's playing poker for some. It's playing, you know, solitary for some. It's playing Scrabble for some. It's watching Netflix for some. I mean, it's whatever is consuming your mind that you're addicted to. Go on a diet of that. That's what the idea is. And that that energy where you want it, you put a plan in somewhere else and it wins. Now, I remember I went 17 months. And uh, that 17 months, you know, it was not an easy 17 months. And and the first time after 17 months, I, like I said, I think she's still in the hospital. But the, <laughs> it, 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 17 months is what it was. But uh, yeah, it was it was a it was an interesting 17 months. But it created so much urgency. Seven. <laughs> oh my god! If hey. you only knew how much urgency it created. <laughs> Did, was there was there did, did you have a did you go to the eight how did you know when you'd reached a million dollars like did you see what, what was the what metric were you looking at well, think about it think about it this way so you know the the when the later the night would get i'd have to call a couple girls to go spend time with them right but now i'm not doing that or if if those you know right. the girls were not available then i gotta go out there prospecting then i have to go somewhere and right. That process takes time to meet, flirt, drink. Hey, right. you, where do you live? You know, that, that takes time. The and courtship. The courtship takes time. It's like freaking, you know, 11 hours. <sighs> like, give me a break. Like some 38 hours. And you're calculating how many hours it took until finally, oh, I got what I wanted. Now, if, if that's not the motive and that's not the goal, what are you doing Friday night? Well, Friday night. You're kind of making 50 other calls till nine o'clock at night. And then you're planning your week and you're strategizing and you're improving your presentation and you're reading a book, you're watching a video, you're taking a course and then you're coming in sharper on Saturday because you didn't, you know, stay with a girl till four o'clock in the morning and you're coming in on four hours and you're grumpy. You have an attitude. You don't close well because you're annoyed. Your energy is down and people can't tell your eyes. You have bags here. Your hair is a mess. You don't look good. So you're not confident. You don't close better. No, you're coming into work with a good amount of energy. You're focused. You're coming at 7 a.m. rather than 10 o'clock on a Saturday. You're working on Saturday. So while the average person works four and a half days, now you're working six days plus Sundays. After I was done, I would go to the office at 6 o'clock at night and work till 10 o'clock at night. I had an edge. My week became the average person's two weeks. Right. And right. eventually you're, you're going and you're like, wait a minute. There's The market favors this. Oh my God, I can't believe what I'm making right now. This is crazy. This works. Where are the distractions? And then comes, you know, the results. And, and the results, by the way, it didn't take a long time for me to get the results. It was, it was like, boom, 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 boom. It was very intentional, very focused for that 17 months.
And how did you know you had a, the, 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 the million dollars in assets or what, what metric were you looking at? Were you looking at a bank account I, or did you- I was tracking all my assets? I started tracking my, my credit score used to be 484, 495, 499. And I created an Excel spreadsheet and every uh, month I would run my credit on the 18 with true credit or free one of those websites that's 18 bucks a month. And it would give me my score and I would track my score. And then on the bottom, I had my checking account, saving account, all my credit cards, MBNA, Discover, Amex, whatever my credit cards were, and their interest rates next to it and how much I had and what it was going lower and lower. And then my card collection, my art collection, my mutual fund, my stocks. And I would every month, I would update that. Every month, I would update that. Every month, I would update that. And I said, okay, boom, here's what, oh, okay, boom, here's, oh, this stock just went up, oh, this mutual fund. And then suddenly that grew and the value of the business and the value of investments combined together led to, okay, we cracked that number. And then, you know. So was it on an 18th that you, that you stepped your foot, your, your, your back into the game? Like, was it literally like you saw in your spreadsheet? You're like, oh shit, $1 million and $3. No. Hey, sweetheart, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was at a, I was at a, uh, uh, I was at a invited to a party by my sister and my brother-in-law. And the, uh, this was at the 17th month and this freaking dropped it. Gorgeous girl was there. And I'm like trying to avoid her. And at this point, there was just too much, you know, magic in the air. And I just said, look, are you having fun? She says, no. I said, neither am I. You want to leave? Yes. I said, why don't we go for a drive? And then, you know, it was catastrophic afterwards but that's what happened. What, what a great what a great line to use uh, on, on a on a potential uh mate uh i've, I've been abstaining from sex until i was worth a million dollars and today is the day ah. <laughs> i mean what a great it's honest <laughs> it's honest oh my god